Howdy folks, yes I am back. We are on FS22 again. It's only been what <laughs> yeah? Something like that, isn't it? Like a long old time. A long old time. Right, but anyway, we are on yeah. We are on Valley Spring map. Which is good if you've got a PC, not so good if you've got a console because it's only well it's not on mod hub, so um, yeah, it's uh, PC only, but it's cracking little maps. Orange map, um, absolutely full of grass. It's just grass, literally just grass. A lot of little fields, um, and uh, let's put it out there. It's a cracking little map. Nice little lanes. Lovely bit of countryside, and uh, decent traffic. Not um, the usual giant traffic. We've got. Uh, uh, wheel diggers, loaders, tractors, all sorts of different stuff. Now there's one block where we yeah, let's get parked up anyway and I'll show you what I've been up to. It's quite a, quite a big map lot, like, but um, I'll say a lot of little fields. Just pull in here. Now you'll notice off in the distance, we'll drive over actually. Over in the distance, um, there is a tractor looming. Now, if you look on the map in the bottom left corner, obviously you'll see we're in field one. Um, it's about to cross into field five, but I've whipped the hedge out. Um, and uh, the old Land Rover's making some runs, isn't she? It is raining, obviously, <laughs> and thundering and lightning, so it's pretty wet. But uh, yeah, so it's a bit wet, so we are making some wheelings there. Um, but uh, yeah, like so, as you can see, with one, five, six, eight, and ten, I've took all the hedges out. I've left a bit in, like I've left that tree in there, um, but everything else I've had out. And um, we left the fent up here, so fent, uh, she's fent nine three nine. Um, left her up here last night. Um, yeah, using that to get rid of the tree, well, sawing the trees down and using the mulcher to um, to get rid of the hedges and what's left. Right, so we'll get the fence back to the yard. We'll do that, we'll just nip over here and I'll just show you um, what I've done up to this point. So we're about 20 hours in. You need to do a few hours to get the, you know, get the farm set up got a lot of setting up to do so um, so there you can see I've been busy so all them there's a lot of hedges I took out there as you can see on the little map in the lower left corner and um, put them all together so we've got two fairish sized fields now and I've put in some spring wheat and uh, drilled that well last month in March and uh, so that's at the first growth stage. No, it's not. It's at the second growth stage, obviously, isn't it? So um, we'll get some fertilizer on here when it stops raining. Um, but uh, yeah, that's looking good. So what we've got to do, we've got to essentially do the same job um, where we are here. So we've got to get in here with one of the tractors with the old. Um, oh, either the plow it. Or we have got to, I mean, I've cultivated all that with, uh, oh god, is it a curling? Basically, a um, big cultivator anyway, so, which is 7.8 metres, I think. So, um, yeah, so we've got to do that. So it's a fair block of land now, and, um, but, you know, what I've put this and that block there, it's a fair block of, you know, arable ground, um, so there's a, there's a two or three grass fields around the farm, but, <coughs> so we, uh, so we've got, yeah, got a bit of grass to go out as well, a little gateways, big kit, yep, see, <laughs> we'll back in a minute, let him come past. 
Even if it's back out of here, I don't know if I've got the room, but we'll see. At least come back. Thankfully, the traffic only goes the one way. Um, yeah, not a lot of in the way of passing places, but I love that. The fact that uh, there's a bit of a variety in the traffic it does make it more realistic. it back down to the farm. Right, knock her off. So yeah, this is what we've got. Yeah, she's a curling, isn't she? Um, whatever they're called, a curling vector. Um, so we've got that. So yeah, quick tour of the farm. We've got 390 T Massey there. That's on the bow chopper. We've got a mounted sprayer there. Um, got a 4440. Lovely two wheel drive John Deere. Beast of old tractor they are. Twin right a rake, uh, we've got a grain trailer there, we've got um, uh, obviously the Roland uh, bow trailer, grain store. Very nice, shut that back up. Got the Arctic Shed, got uh, the 4880, and um, got the big old Steiger. She is a big old Steiger Tiger. A um, bit limited with her because obviously she's on jewels and I can't get, <laughs> get through all the gateways. But um, yeah, we've got some horsepower. Obviously, we've got the Fent 939 as well. We've got a 155R John Deere, that's on a sulky fertilizer spreader. Um, got the Pottinger triple mowers there, got the Bannisted Rapid, uh, she's an 8 metre, that's what we've done the drilling with. Um, I do dabble in a bit of forestry work, hence we've got the Mulcher on the 939 and we've got this 180H um, with the log grab on so we can, you know, we do a, you know, we can move trees about and stuff, she's you know, big old load as she can handle. Um, yeah, you know, a lot, lot, you know, if you can handle a tree or anything like Um Got an 8345R, RT, obviously. Trap machine, she's uh, an auto power. And we've got uh, the 8750. She's reverse drive, the old Valmet. 60k as well. Nice tractor. Um, telehandler for the farm is this old school, or 52567. Nice old loader, got a few attachments for it here. Uh, bow spark and a bucket and all that. Uh, and then we've got the old beef cow. And uh, yeah, believe it or not, there's 86 in there. <laughs> so uh, yeah, again, it's um, obviously we've got calves in here as well. We've got, we've got uh, one bull in here as well, something. It is, no, that's not him. There's a bill in here somewhere. There he is. There you go, there's your bull. So, yeah. Um, not all just the same cow lot, you know, as you get with the standard game. So, uh, yeah, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. So, we've got the old grain store here. Got pit, obviously, tipping. There's your silos. And then through here, we have got my workshop. So, uh, yeah, with a side bay there for a bit of storage, but uh, yeah, lovely workshop so we can work on the machines. Um, and we've got the 12.3 metre Dalbo roll and the 5 fur Ermo fully mounted plough. Big old plough, that is. Big old plough. I'm just in this bottom field now. And I like the fact that like, when it's peeing it down with rain like it is at the minute, you get, you know, you get standing water in your low spots lot. Like. Nice little touch. Nice little touch, supposed to, say so that sun is supposed to come out, but not for a little bit yet. So even though it's peeing it down the rain, I think we'll see if the um, we can go playing with the 8345. Oh, tracks and wet ground often don't go well together, but uh, we'll see how we get on. She 
know she's got it. We've got some grass road up there, which um, obviously not <laughs> doing too well, uh, getting wet in the row there. But uh, let's see if we can pick that up when it dries up. Get some, uh, you know, make some food for the cows rather than to buy it at the minute. That's what I've been doing. Stick some more beacons on. Lights on. Let's see what we've got coming. Be all right. yeah, we could fold this plow up properly but um, we're only just bobbing up the road so we should be all right so what we might have to just do actually is um, just flip it over so that um, the tail of the plow is on the offside so it'll we can turn in a lot sharp otherwise the end of the plough would have been hitting the other fence by now wouldn't it I'm just going to sneak in just like that Right, I'll tell you what we're going to do here. I'm going to pull a straight line just away from this. Uh, straight as his head. Just tell you what, it's a lovely straight headland there. Yes, we're going to have some short work on the left, but um, we're going to plough straight up this headland. Now we're going to start. I suppose I could have really took a cut of grass off this first, couldn't I? But um, yeah, that probably would have been the sensible thing to do. But I want to get some crops in. I've got plenty of other grass. So um, yeah, we'll continue as is, ploughing it up. But uh, yeah, I'll just <laughs> literally just occurred to me I've got to crop off this first before I ploughed it. But um, she's ploughing it all right, isn't she? Look at that. Yeah, so what we'll do here, we're just going to literally keep pointing keep a straight line and um, gonna head up here not yeah, yeah not probably ideal because um, now I've got to, I'm gonna have a bit of a headland to come and finish here but um, it will be fine it will be fine as I can steer straight it is obviously there's GPS in the game no I'm not steering very straight there am I um, which I'm not using but uh, yeah, it is there to be used if you want also got um, another thing I like about this map it's got multi-terrain angle so like on the base game um, there's like, uh, is there like 8 no, maybe more than that maybe 12 different angles you can have um, whereas on this as in you know, the name suggests multi terrain angle it's loads and loads of different slightly different angles so when you change angle you don't get um, uh, you don't see a big angle change on the, on the ground it's, like, it's nice and smooth too bad I suppose but back her in on the angle right, so this is basically how I'd be doing it in real life anyway make sure you get right into the corner Close to the edge there, close to the corner, we'll 
back up to the hedge, drop it in and go. There you go, we are off oh, fair bit fair bit doing should take too long, like, you know. A good nice decent long runs these are, so uh, anyway I hope you enjoyed that uh, first video back. Um, I'll carry on plodding on with this and uh, catch up soon. See you later.